Hey guys, welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. Today I'm going to explain some of the light setups for this photo shoot. So the concept for this one is kind of, she's going to be wrapped in like a bunch of pink. So I have this pink tool. I'm a big fan of looking on Facebook marketplace or any used sites in like the miscellaneous area because there's usually a lot of random things you can use for photo shoots that people are selling for cheap because either they don't know the value or what they are or they just want to get rid of it. So I bought this large bolt of pink tool. So I have the tool draped on a backdrop stand behind her and then I have it coming around uh, on another light stand with a boom arm. That way she's kind of engulfed in all this pink tool. So as for lighting, I want it to look very kind of soft and natural light. So I don't have any light shining on her. It's just bouncing off these foam core boards. You can use anything pretty much that's white. And they're just uh, two lights, one off to her right hand side, and then one kind of at a 45 degree in front of her, as you can see. And they're just uh, bouncing really soft light onto her. And then on her left hand side, I have another foam core, smaller V-flat that I made. And that is just reflecting some light back onto her to just kind of fill in all the shadows. And then I have a monitor in front. I'm shooting live into Lightroom and then the monitor is just mirroring the images. That way she can see live what images I'm taking. This next look has some large acrylic sheets in them. I've had these for a while. I mainly use them for product photography, like as tabletops or uh, backgrounds of sorts. But then I saw a Carl Taylor image and he had a really large, a uh, couple really large orange ones. I'll post a picture here. And um, I figured I'd kind of try out a similar look. So I have three in the image here. I ended up taking out the purple one because it wasn't large enough to be a background. So I just ended up using the blue wall as the background and then um, had the yellow and the orange one as the, the yellow ones in front of her and then the orange ones behind her. So she's standing in between the two. And then in Photoshop, I ended up recoloring them uh, as a complementary color based on her outfit. So the lighting setup I kept in the final image was I took off the strip box on the speed light that was on camera right, shining through the acrylic. And I had that one just shining through as the speed light because then it gave it a more of a round gradient in the acrylic. I also had, uh, I kept the light, I kept the strip box on camera left on that speed light. And then I took a 200 Pro and I shined that on the background. And that one also kind of gives a circular gradient, which you can see through the yellow acrylic, which is blue in the final image. I was kind of playing around with the 400 Pro that had the reflector on it. So that one was always just uh, in the best angle to light up her face. So that is the main lighting setup that I kept for the final images. All right, this look is a just kind of a t-shirt and jeans sort of look, very simple. Uh, the lighting setup is kind of twofold. So I had uh, the first image is gonna be this darker image and that is just a 400 Pro with the uh, deep parabolic octobox and a grid on it. And that one is just lighting her up. Um, it's keeping the light very contained so it's not falling on the background as much and keeping everything kind of dark. But I feel like with her, her light colored hair, and the light colored shirt, it really kind of draws your attention right to her. This next one is kind of more of a natural light look. So I turned on the 400 Pro that's bouncing off of the uh, V-flat here. And that one is giving, that one's now the key light. It's brighter than the 400 Pro with the Octobox on it. And now it's kind of giving this uh, daylight high key type look. For this last look, my GoPro died, so I'll just explain it real quickly. It's very similar to the t-shirt and jeans style look. I took down the 400 Pro that had the parabolic octobox, and what I'm using is the key light is gonna be the 400 Pro that's reflecting off of the V-flat on camera left. And then what I did is I grabbed another uh, V-flat or bounce board, and I put it behind her on camera right, and that's reflecting some of the light back on her. That way you get some of the shadows filled in from the camera right side. All right guys, hopefully that was entertaining and informative. Consider sharing this with another photographer friend who's interested in lighting and light setups. If 
you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments field and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.